Welcome to Display Overhaul Part 2. So this was relatively quick and painless. I really, really like the way this turned out. Everything I needed to do here is now done. Unfortunately, I am starting to run out of time, but I do want to get started down on this end. So first thing I want to do is pull down the mission, and I'll show you what we're going to do there. I did the remake video for this Aerostar Tiffany, and so many people requested that I put it up on display. So that sounded good with me, and since I sort of fixed the bottom here, I kind of wanted to put it up on display as well. So instead of taking it all apart again, because it is kind of a pain to assemble, I just threw it up back here to wait in the meantime. Since I have to put the mission back in its box, I think I'm just going to throw it up here in this time temporary spot for the night. I just don't want to waste a bunch of extra time disassembling because I want to get the other one up in its spot for sure. All right, so this one is done. I do still have to remove the Intel Touch Control from the wall, but for now I'm going to move on to this Key Largo. This one is going to be kind of just a style for style swap out. I'm going to keep the exact same light kit, but I'm going to put up my polished brass moss heirloom. This one here to be exact, so I'm going to pull this out and we can get started. So as you just saw, I spent vastly too long trying to balance this one. I could have done it later, but it has to be done eventually, so it might as well be now. I forgot that basically every arm on this one is out of clock and it causes a complete death wobble. Before I even started recording, I tried to balance with just weights, but it was just going nowhere. So I've always been nervous to try to whack them back into place because import blade arms of this era tend to break for me instead of bend, but this one was so so bad that I had to just take a gamble on it. If any broke that was just gonna be how destiny went today. Thankfully they didn't. I can kind of show you what I did. Basically I held lightly on the next blade over opposite of the direction I needed to tap. Then I literally just gave him a whack like this except much stronger. With a harder and more brittle fragile arm like these fans use, you would think that more gentle force would be better, but actually I found that's when they tend to get the hairline cracks the most. So if any of you out there ever have to reclock arms like this, you want to give it some real brisk force. And if it breaks, it breaks. If you're nervous like I was for so long, I would just not even touch them and try to balance with weights as best as you can. But sometimes, like me tonight, it just drives you crazy to the point that you need to try to fix it at any cost. It's definitely still not perfect and probably never will be, but it is better and I was able to get it pretty well balanced with just a little bit of weight. So just a little balancing advice for you in there. I think I'm going to try to do one more quick and hopefully seamless swap out with the original here. People have wanted this small Sanyo on display literally forever. The down rod is too long to do it in most of my standard locations, but I think in this location close to the wall, hanging a little bit lower will be fine. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Thank you. 
All right, so I just went in and internally shortened the pull cord. It was just incredibly too long. It was hanging down in here. Obviously, it's original and I don't want to cut it, but if you go up inside, you can pull it through, make a little knot, and store the excess up inside the housing. So I'm actually super glad I finally tried this one here. I think it looks great. The height really works. Let me get out of here and show it at a better distance. The shelf here is sort of in the way, but it's definitely low, but I think it works. It's not like this corner needs headroom. I think there will almost always be something underneath there against the wall. Hopefully it won't be pedestal fans forever, but whether it be furniture or some sort of display piece, I think there will always be something there. So that really brings us down to the final five here. I pretty much have everything I'm going to do here planned out. I just don't have time to finish tonight. So for now, I'm going to call it a night and I will see you back soon to finish this up. Hello, I am back to hopefully finally wrap up this display overhaul. Once again, I am down to the last few things that need to be swapped out. I think I'll start here swapping homestead with another homestead. I'm gonna do the Santa Cruz that I recently acquired. Until I got this fan, it wasn't really in the plans and I thought I was gonna be without homestead on the display for a time, but this one kind of falls right into place. I don't really have anything in the old school white and polished brass combination up. It fills the homestead gap and in this location I can do this crazy gaudy 90s light kit on it. This light kit hangs too low for me to really do it anywhere else. I ordered some lower lumen LED light bulbs to use with this. They actually were just delivered today at my apartment so I don't have them right now. So this will be kind of the only element that I definitely cannot finish today. But I will pop something in to use temporarily. And this fan is currently on my remake list so I am going to try to pop it down fully assembled and just throw it up in the back. It might be a little while before I get time to do this one, but as I've explained in the past, it's completely pointless to fully disassemble it and then have to put it back together again in short order. So I'm going to pull this one down and then I will be back to put up the Santa Cruz. All right, here we are with the finished product. I was just trying to decide if I need to change out the lamping, but I think it is just a little bit too much light. It's always a fine balance of finding the lumen output that I actually need for the space and something that's not going to be crazy on video. So I love this end combination. This light kit is perfect to pair with the Santa Cruz, and I actually have put this light on my polished brass Santa Cruz before, but I do not bring out this light kit very often because I basically hate it. I love the aesthetic and the styling that it brings. It is so quintessentially 90s, but it is very hard to get it to sit straight on the fan and to get each of the individual shells to sit straight and correctly in proportion to one another. And I am a little OCD when it comes to getting things just so, but I'm glad to have it implemented on something. And this time, surprisingly, it's sitting pretty well. It only took a few minor adjustments to get it looking right. So all in all, I love this. I think it's a great, unique addition. So I think next I'm going to head over to the star location. I feel like basically anybody who has submitted a suggestion for a display fan has requested this Bay Breeze. I have tried to implement it and get it fitting in multiple times, but so far it has just simply not worked out. What's great about it now and for this location is that the slightly longer down rod that it's hanging on is going to put it down a little bit lower. So since this is kind of the back end of the display furthest from the entry point, it'll hopefully bring that down a little bit and give it some extra visibility. Not that there's that much to see of it from further away, but I feel like this location in particular tends to get blocked by everything else. And I think it'll be good. So enough talking. I know tons of people want this fan on display, so let's get it done.
here it is. I'm sorry it's so backlit right now. Maybe I can give you a better view later when the sun moves around. The hanging height is a little weird. I just have to get used to it. But that extra length does accomplish what I was talking about. You can't tell super well right now with this lighting. But it does just bring that location down into view a bit more as you move back out from it. As I'm looking at it now, I'm already getting used to it. And the other fans that I've put back there are in similar positions. The replacement for the Toastmaster spinner, I think, will also be in similar proximity. So it will all work out. Right now I'm going to take a little break and step out, but I will be back later and we will keep moving along. Alright, I am back and moving to this spot. For that spot I'm going to do this Emerson friction drive. I pulled this down a little while back out of storage when I took the Broadway down from this location and actually stored it in the friction drive's location. So my friction drive actually runs well for a friction drive. If it didn't run well I probably wouldn't even be considering putting it up, but it's definitely unique so I think it's worth showcasing at least once. All right, here we are. Still runs well for a friction drive. I was a little worried that after a few years of sitting that there might be a little bit of a flat spot in the roller and there might be a small bump. But while it was in storage, I did rotate it a few times just to make sure it wasn't sitting in the same spot all the time. And I am pleased that it still runs this well, although now I see it is slowing down. So it is definitely not going to be a daily runner here, but again, I still think it's worth showing. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next. So for this spot, I've really pared down the Casablanca that I have on display. I don't have anything old school ornate from them up. I do, of course, have the 19th over here, which I do want to take down. But as I've mentioned in a few comments, I cannot get to it, and I don't have a place to move all this stuff efficiently in order to do that. That is really the only reason this fan is still on display and will continue to be for the time being. So, with that said, I have wanted to put one of these childhood Cambridges of mine up on display since the very beginning. Unfortunately, I've always just been so saturated in Casablanca that I just couldn't make it fit. It never made sense with the scheme of things. But now that I have cleared out some of the Casablanca and have a small space available, I think it's the perfect time to do it. And since the mission came down, I don't have anything IntelliTouch on display anymore. I was thinking of going with one of the ones that I converted to three-speed pull chain, but now looking at everything else and not having the IntelliTouch, I think that's going to be the best choice. In either case, I was not going to do a light kit. It's surrounded by enough, so it'll just be the fan alone, a super simple and classic combination. All right, that's another one done. Since I had one in the right finish, I did something that I haven't used in a while and went with the genuine trim ring. Since I don't have to use these for my regular demonstration videos anymore, I kind of forget that I have them. And I do only have a couple of finishes, so that kind of makes it hard to remember to use them when I have the opportunity to. I still have to get the wall control in, but for tonight I am just trying to keep moving on getting the fan swapped out. I want to move on to this final location.
So as you just saw, I pulled down the new tone. And while this location is empty, I took the opportunity to shove the box slightly over. I've wanted to do that basically since I moved this box slightly a couple of years ago. It's not a lot, but it helps close the gap between these two fans ever so slightly. And it also offers a couple extra inches of working room between this location. With a 56 inch fan here, this location can be a little bit tight. So this will help ease that to some extent. So for this location, you guys are always asking for more spinners. I'm going to try to work another one in and it's going to pay a little homage to the old display in the garage. So it's a little bit basic, but I'm going to do this SMC Laguna. I'm going to do a light kit in this location since I removed one with a light kit. So that's pretty much my plan. Let's get it put up. So that is it, the last of the overhaul. It's getting pretty late, so I'm going to keep this brief, but I do want to give you just a better view over here while it's darker and not all backlit. I am super excited to now get everything cleaned up and back into storage, and then get to work on the National Ceiling Fan Day video. I think what I'll do is come back tomorrow, I can bring the bulbs for the Santa Cruz and get that changed out. I can also maybe wrap up the switches and wall controls, and then kind of give you a last look and overview to close out. So I will see you back here tomorrow. All right, you guys, I am back with final looks. It might be hard to tell on camera, but I did get my new light bulbs put in. But otherwise, that's going to be pretty much it. I've really tried to change as much as I can, so I'm ready to get into this year's National Ceiling Fan Day video. So that'll wrap it up. I'm going to get to work on editing this video for you guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell before you leave to get updates on all of my new videos, and I will see you next time. Click left to watch my last vlog, or click right for the entire shop vlog playlist so that you can start at the beginning.